Hi, in this video we're going to add some bigger numbers using tens and ones. Let's start with 46 plus 29. First I'm going to draw that and put it into my tens and ones. So 46 has 10, 4 tens and 6 ones, 29 has 2 tens and 9 ones. Now when we add, we always start by adding the ones column. 6 plus 9 will do over here, and we see that's a lot of ones. So the first thing I'm going to do is see if I can make a group of 10. There's enough to make a group of 10 with 5 left over. I'm going to take that group of 10 and move it over into the tens column. And I show that by putting a 1 in the tens column. Now there are 5 ones left over. 6 plus 9 makes 15, but we have to split it up because the number is too big. Now let's count the tens. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 tens. So I'll put that in my tens column. I get that 7 because 1 plus 4 is 5, plus 2 more is 7. So the answer is 75. Now let's erase this problem and do a new one. 38 plus 26. First of all, I'm going to draw it with tens and ones, just like I did with my other problem. So 38 has three tens and eight ones. 26 has two tens and six ones. Again, we always start by adding the ones column. Eight plus six is 14. Let's see that by making a group of 10. Eight plus two more is 10, and there's four outside the group of 10. Take the group of 10 and move it over to the tens column. And we can cross them out because they're not in the ones anymore. Let's show that 10 that we moved over and the four beans that were left. 8 plus 6 is 14, but we have to split it up because it's too big. Now when we count our tens, we see that there are six tens all together. 1 plus 3 plus 2 more makes 6, so the answer is 64. Okay, let's try one more problem, this time with slightly larger numbers. 75 plus 46. And again, the first thing that we do is to draw this picture with tens and ones. 75 has seven tens and five ones. 46 has four tens and six ones. Always start by adding your ones column first. 5 plus 6 is 11. You can see that when I make a group of 10, there's going to be one left over, so that's the 11. I'm going to take this group of 10 and move it over into the tens column and cross it out of the ones. Now I need to show that group of 10 that I moved and the one that's left over. So again, 5 plus 6 is 11, but I have to split it up because it's too big. Now when I count my tens, I see that there are 12 tens. Whoa, that's a lot of tens. In fact, I have I kept so many tens that I could make a group of, of 10 tens. So I take 8 from the top and 2 down below. That's 10 tens, which is 100. So I know my answer is going to be in the hundreds. Well, there's actually 12 tens all together. So when I write the 12, I see that my answer is 121. There's 100 two tens, and one in the ones column.